As a seasoned dairyman, you already know that just before and right after calving, a cow may not have all the calcium available she needs to stay healthy, which means it's a good time to supplement. Now, before you run out and grab that IV to prevent hypocalcemia, there are a few things you should think about. While IV calcium does act quickly and is appropriate for cows that are already down, it is not recommended for those that are subclinically hypocalcemic or not yet showing symptoms. Here's why. When calcium levels are low, PTH, or parathyroid hormone, is secreted. And that helps the cow pull calcium from her bones and absorb calcium from her diet. But when calcium spikes to twice the normal level after an IV, PTH production comes to an abrupt halt, and another hormone, calcitonin, comes into play. Calcitonin actively blocks mobilization of bone calcium and absorption of dietary calcium when blood calcium levels are too high. So it's no surprise that a cow that gets an IV can become hypocalcemic again. Supplementing her with bovocalc oral calcium before she starts showing signs may avoid the hormonal roller coaster. With bovocalc oral calcium, a cow will absorb four to six grams of calcium within 30 minutes, which is enough to supply the calcium she now needs without triggering the hormonal response. And that rate will be sustained for four to 12 hours. But since a cow's calcium level normally bottoms out between 12 and 24 hours after calving, another bovocalc bolus is needed. Bovocalc is administered at a minimum of two boluses. Read the product label for additional information. While an oral calcium supplement after calving is always a good idea, there are times and situations when it's highly beneficial. Cows that are in their second lactation and greater. Cows that are somewhat lame or are historically high producers. Early lactation cows that are off feed within the first three weeks after calving are also at risk. Especially cows that are wobbly or have cold ears are at risk. And finally, cows that have been successfully treated with an IV that are up and swallowing could benefit from a supplemental bovocalc bolus followed by another bolus 12 hours later. Talk to your veterinarian about the problems associated with using IV calcium as a post-calving preventative. To learn more about the advantages of bovocalc, Ask your veterinarian or BIVI representative and visit bovacalc.com. Remember not to use bovacalc as an initial treatment for milk fever. And do not use in cows that are lying down or showing signs of milk fever.